part four, bisecting lines. You will find this on page 234 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Bise the perpendicular bisector. In the figure, M is the midpoint of line segment AB. Because the line AB passes through M, XY is said to bisect AB. Therefore, XY divides AB into two equal parts. XY is called the perpendicular bisector of AB. A perpendicular bisector can be drawn using a pair of compasses and a ruler. Now, it's perpendicular because it makes a 90 degree angle and it's a bisector because it bisects the line AB. It divides it into two equal parts. Now let's go through example four. Construct the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. Now set the compass at approximately three quarters, more than a half of AB, of the length of the line. Place the sharp point on one end of the line A and describe an arc. Do not change the width of the compass. Then place the point at the other end of the line, and that's at B, and then place the, the point at the other end of the line B and draw another identical arc. So first you put it there and draw that arc. Then you put it there and you draw that arc. Note, in geometrical construction, construction lines should be thin and they should not be erased after drawing a figure. These lines indicate the steps in creating the figure. You can draw the dotted lines or leave it out. That means you can. it's actually only necessary to draw that lines. You do not have to draw the whole arc. Um, the same on this side. So it's not necessary to draw that lines, but you can. Now, draw a line from one point of intersection, this one point of intersection, to the other point of intersection there. Okay, the perpendicular bisector of AB. So there's the line. You can draw the dotted line show or leave them out. That part and that part. XY is the perpendicular bisector of AB. Okay, I want you to do try now four. I want you to stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. I'm I first going to see if this, this, if I can work here, if I can make it small enough. I just want to see. No, I think um, your compass will work, but it's a bit more difficult um, on this one because it can only adjust to a certain point. I'm just going to move it. Okay. Now, um, let's just take the line. Okay, this is the line. I'm, I'm just going to make a line, more or less the same. Oh, sorry. It must be a straight line. Okay. I think this one will work. So, let's just call this point. I'm just going to call this point there. It's going to be K, and this point there, it's going to be L. Okay, let's first just move the ruler. You can first do it, and as soon as you are finished, you can stop the video to see if you are correct. Okay, but let's just move the ruler first to this side. Okay, we can even stretch it a bit shorter. Okay, now we're going to move this. I'm just going to change the pen. Okay. And I'm going to move it here. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to get another one. Okay. Okay. And let's just make it a bit shorter. And now we're going to move it. We're going to put it exactly on that point. Now, can you remember? It must be more than a half. So you, you must stretch it that it's approximately three quarters. That's always a good measuration okay so you put it exactly on that point k and you put it there on the line okay but now you first move the line and now check what i do you you draw this arc 
Now, it's, it doesn't matter. You can draw the arc through. It's not, you, you can do it or you can leave it. Okay. Now, just move it to this side. Put the nail there at the point L. And now, just move it to there. And I'm again going to, to just draw that arc. Now, in the beginning, it's better to draw the whole arc. I like that when you're better, you can just draw part of it part of it because sometimes it's not intersecting then you have to go back to point k to make sure and make it a little bit longer to make sure it intersects okay now i'm just going to move and now i'm going to use my ruler and i'm going to make it a little bit longer and i'm going to turn it and i'm going to move it exactly on that point of intersection and on this point of intersection there and on this point of intersection there okay so it's there and it's there and then i can just take my pencil it's it's actually the same pencil that you were having there i think i'm going to keep to my color okay and then i'm just going to draw that just make sure it's a straight line and just go and connect that points of intersection okay and then just you can move your ruler and now, remember, remember, can I just highlight? This will be 90 degrees. And you can take a ruler and you can measure this distance and this distance and see if they are equal. Because a perpendicular bisector will cut, will make sure that this part is equal to this part.